Welcome to this uh, teaching with uh, to be continued. Uh, we have been really looking forward to, to do this uh, for quite a while now uh, to share with you uh, teachings in a in a in a way we haven't done it before. And um, I've been praying about it. And I felt the Lord is put in my heart uh, that we should do it uh, more, including to involve others also. So, so we, there will be a period now uh, when. Um, uh, we will have, uh, we will speak about, uh, we're going to try to make it at least one time a week, mm -hmm. uh, one teaching each, each week, not too long either. And uh, we, will, we will speak about the topics born again, uh, fellowships, and uh, sharing. And this is the three pillars we are building on in uh, To Be Continued. Yes. Uh, so, but today we, we, we will have a starter here to just bring some kind of foundation of what we're doing, why we're doing it. And we will let the Holy Spirit take over also, so we will involve a lot of other people around the world uh, in a new YouTube channel we started also called TBC Network that you can find on our uh, website tobecontinued.nu And that, this is an opportunity for many many people that are working together with us all around the world, Canada, the States, in South America, all around Europe and so on. They can also share their lives, what's happening around the world and also teachings and so on. So we are. We are excited about it. I think it's going to be very good. Uh, so this is kind of the foundation. Uh, but if we speak about Reformation, we know that the Lord is, is uh, reforming His church. He's bringing us back to the beginning now. Yes. And how it started. And, and it's about church structure. It's about uh, authority and what we are, our, our identity that has been stolen from us. And we are all priests. And if you're a priest, you have the right to do the things God has told you to do. In the Old Covenant, the priest could hear God, he could, he could be a messenger of God, and he did what he told God did, uh, told him to do. And this is the th same thing now, because uh, now we don't need a priest, prophet, or king to, to, to be a messenger from God. We are that, because it's a new covenant, and we are all priests in the kingdom. You can find that in, in the Bible, in the New Testament. Uh, so we are called to take part of the kingdom and I think in many areas even though we see a reformation going through and, and uh, we need to look at the structure not the pyramid uh, more like this it's good with leadership but we also we are um, in a flat structure together mm -hmm. uh, a while ago I was praying and the Lord showed me uh, a, a vision suddenly I could see like a, it was a it was a chicken farm, and it was a lot of beautiful chickens with a lot of feathers on them, and and um, uh, and among them there was a rooster walking around there, and he had no feathers, it was just maybe one or two like this, and and, and he, he didn't look pretty, but he looked very proud. And suddenly I could see how uh, how Jacob gave Joseph his beautiful garments, his clothing. Joseph's father gave him his clothes. And suddenly I could hear this Lord speak to me and said, Joseph's father gave him his clothes. Mm -hmm. And suddenly I heard, who gave you your clothes? And then I was back on the chicken farm. I could see this rooster walking around there with uh, like uh, just a few like feathers. And he's almost bald on his body. And I felt like, wow, I almost felt like that's me. That could be me. So I really started to, go, to, need to pray and look at myself and, and ask myself, what have I put on myself? And the Lord has said, Peter, your father in heaven won't give you your clothes. And I think this is so important to see this because, because many times we, we may meet great leaders. We, we meet people that have great revelations and they give us a lot of good stuff. But then God wants to add too. He wants you as a priest also to be out there sharing what you receive from, from the Lord. And to add to. So if you get something really good from somebody, you can actually you have the right to add to. And uh, and you have brothers and sisters around you that can also, if you're insecure, that can actually co correct you and say, no, that's not biblical, or yes, that's biblical. But you're supposed to do that. So many times we just take on other people's teachings, and suddenly you have this top again. You have like one leader at the top writing the books, making the teachings, putting the rules out there, and you just submit and you don't shake it out yourself. You're supposed to be a part of it and, and actually take it further as a priest in the kingdom. So I think this is a, it's a very, 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 very good lesson to, to learn here. Uh, 
and also just yes, feel the presence, feel the love of God. You know, he, our Father in heaven loves us so much. He wants to give us our clothes. He wants to give us beautiful garments. He has special feathers for you. And I think it's a time now for the body of Christ where we, if you really want to see a change in the body of Christ, then we need to, talk, to take a step out in this and really step into the authority that the Lord has given us as priests. That's also including sharing and so on. So I think it's going to be an interesting period now uh, and see what the Lord will do through his priests in his kingdom. And, and, uh, and we can uh, ask ourselves if we are having any feathers and if we are having the feathers, who gave it to us? Yes, amen, amen. It's very important to do that. And, and we, have a, we have some Bible verses also because Joseph, he received his robe from his father, Jacob or Israel. And this you can read in Genesis uh, chapter uh, uh, 37 and verse 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his sons because mm -hmm. he was the son of his old age and he made him a robe of many Amen. colors. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's beautiful. And also uh, we have an interesting story about uh, how uh, David actually, he, when he's going to fight Goliath, how actually you can read it, Camilla. Yeah, first, first Samuel. It's about what Saul did. Saul did. Yes. Uh, in First Samuel chapter seventeen, verse thirty-eight to thirty-nine, then Saul clothed David mm. with his armor. He put a helmet of bronze on his head and clothed him with a coat of mail. And David strapped his sword over his armor. And he tried in vain to go, for he had not tested them. Then David said to Saul, "I cannot go with these, for I have not tested them." So David put them off. Mm, amen. He put them off because Saul gave him something that did, that didn't fit him. Yeah, his his uh, uh, feathers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was kind of interesting to see this. I, I like this verse because this is you, you and me also in Camilla Land. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we just need to take off stuff also, mm. uh, that you have received uh, that is not good for you. Mm. So it's it's, it's it's good. And this is what we are going to work with you guys uh, in these teasing ses sessions at least one time a week and, uh, and give you some good feathers and, and also uh, that you can actually add to there also. Um, and I know in, in, uh, if you read about in Joshua, Joshua, the, the, the book of Joshua, and, and chapter 1 verse uh, 1 to 9, you can see how, how uh, Moses died but he also, uh, Joshua took the land. Moses was his like uh, master or teacher and, and but when he died he continued the heritage and Moses didn't take the land, the promised land. No, it was Yeshua that did that. Did that. It's very interesting. So I want to encourage you out there, don't be afraid. God has so much for you and he wants to use you. It is his greatest desire to see, see you out ran, around your master actually, to become Better. And we do it for the King. We want to amplify Him. We want to glorify Him. We want to lift Him up. And as a priest, you're called to do that. So it's going to be interesting now. So stay tuned with us now the coming weeks here. And when we start to do the teaching ses sessions, we will start with Born Again. Uh, and I think it's going to be very good for you and for us. Yeah, and just receive the, the feathers that uh, your Father wants to give you. And yes. put all others off. Yes. Amen. To, to be, be continued. continued.